In this quick WordPress tutorial, we're going to learn how to set up a podcast feed free using your WordPress site and your current hosting. You will not need to have any additional services to host your own podcast. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your website, go to your WordPress login page, put in your username and password and log in. Once you are logged in, you'll want to go to your plugins. You'll want to choose Add New. And then you're going to search for the plugin Simple Podcasting. The plugin you're looking for is this one right here called Simple Podcasting. If you choose install now, and then activate. The reason I've selected this simple podcasting plugin out of all the ones that came up in the search results, I found it the quickest and easiest plugin to load and store my own podcast through provides me with the RSS feed that I need to submit to different podcast mediums such as the Google stores, um, iTunes podcasts, um, as well as iHeartMedia and a bunch of other ones that are out there in the marketplace, as well as I can share them on my own personal website through WordPress. The only caveat is by not using a podcasting hosting provider like uh, some of the ones out there like Blurberry and several others um, is that you have to have a hosting account that provides you with enough space and also enough bandwidth to serve you on podcast. Um, in my personal experience, um, GoDaddy offers some great hosting packages. Um, in most cases, they offer way more capabilities than us individuals typically use. So highly recommend a GoDaddy hosting account. Uh, to do that with, um, and I can share my personal experiences and recommendations, as well as some discount referral codes uh, for anybody that would like to get started with GoDaddy. Uh, just reach out, go to my website, um, professorwolf.com, and you can contact me um, and ask me for that information. I'd be more than happy to share that with you. Um, now that we have the plugin in, we're going to locate it um, in our list of plugins, and we're going to make sure it was activated, and it was. Um, to see that we it's activated, we see a list for podcasts here. We'll choose that. Now, we have no podcast set up currently, so it's going to put us into the default view of setting up a podcast. Um, so what I'm going to do is set up mine. I'm going to do a little bit of copying and pasting to save time, and it's going to give it a name, Professor Wolf's Tech Talks. Um, I'm going to give it a slug, which will be its friendly URL. Professor Wolf Dash Tech Talks. Um, no subtitle in my case. I'll put my artist name in. I'll put my um, email address in, prof.wolf at professorwolf.com. The next thing that I'm going to do is fill in my summary. And I'm going to copy and paste in my summary. I have it already written here. Copyright license information. I'm just going to put in um, a copyright year um, in my website. Not explicit. I'm not swearing or using any profound languages. Um, the cover image here is important. Your cover image must be a uh, square shape, um, so the width and the height must match. It has to be at least 1,400 pixels by 1,400 pixels. Um, personally, I've used Adobe Photoshop. I set up a canvas um, of that size, and then I created um, what I would like my cover art to look like. Uh, you can see many examples of this on the actual um, podcast stores and choose um, to create one that looks uh, something that represents uh, what you'd like your podcast to be about. So I've already uploaded mine like any other media to WordPress, so I'll click Select Image. I'll look across my media, 
and there I have it right there. And uh, it's called my Professor Wolf cover that JPEG. I use a JPEG file. Now that I have this here, I'm going to give it some keywords. Again, I have those um, all set. I'm going to choose some categories. I'm going to choose the technology category first. And then from there, I'll choose some other categories, tech news, and let's go with um, software how-to. I'll click Create, Add New Podcast. And what that does for me is it gives me my feed URL. Okay, My feed URL here is the URL that I'm going to submit to the actual um, stores that are going to list my podcast. Okay. So what you need to do sometimes if you set up your feed URL for the first um, time, um, it's helpful to verify that feed URL before you try to submit it to any stores. Um, and um, we go out, I don't have it currently bookmarked, so I'll find it real quick, um, podcast, um, let's go feed verification. There's a tool that's pretty cool called Podbase, Podcast Validator. And what you do here is take your feed URL, copy it, paste it in, and it's going to tell you if it's ready to go. There's no validation on the plugin in WordPress, so you may want to check it here before you go through the effort of trying to submit it. So it checks everything to make sure it's good. As long as you have green, green check boxes you'll, everywhere, you'll be good. Now, I have one area of caution. I don't currently have any podcasts yet this, um, set up on my feed. Uh, so right there, that's cautioning me. It has no, nothing there. But the rest looks good. So I'm ready um, to know that this at least is ready for Apple iTunes. Okay, And it tells me that um, it has a good URL and all the other information is good and gives me some pointers. So um, Podbase, Podcast Validator, a good tool to add to your bag of tools. So I have that. The next thing I'll do, like I said, this makes it really easy. I'm going to go and create a new post. So in WordPress, I go to my post. I click Add New. And I'm going to use the standard editor. Okay. And with the standard editor now, um, I should see the ability to um, create a podcast in my tool. And I do. I can choose that. Okay. Um, I'm going to choose Upload and find a podcast on my computer. And just for the sake of it, I'm going to choose this MP3. I'm not going to actually publish this one, but I'm just going to choose this one just to show you how it works. I'm going to give it a title. is uh, Okay, just let's say that's my introductory podcast. Over here, on the right-hand side, we're going to tag that okay, as my podcast. So I'm going to tag it to that podcast channel. Now I can have multiple podcast channels using this plugin, which is great. So I'm going to tag it to my Professor Wolf's Tech Talks. Okay. Um, other than that, at this point, I don't need to do anything else. If I can publish it, and it asks if I'm ready to publish it, and I click Publish. Now what that will do, if I go to submit this podcast, um, it'll basically be tagged to my podcast RSS, RSS feed. So I can just check this one more time. And we'd expect to see that one thing of caution change if all went well. And um, it changed. It's just a little bit different um, at this point in time. And otherwise, everything still looks good. We can pull that um, URL up in our browser and verify it. And if you look, you'll see that I have an item here in my RSS feed. Okay, So it's ready to go. I can now go to the iTunes store and I can submit this podcast. Now once you have your feed ready to go and you want to submit it, let's give uh, iTunes as the example of where you'd like to submit your podcast. In this case, I've gone to Podcast Connect apple.com I've signed in with my Apple ID and I'm going to plug in my RSS feed URL and validate it. What this will do 
is prepare my RSS uh, feed in my podcast for submission. You'll see it pulls the details in. Okay. You'll see it pulls in any podcasts that are ready to go. I didn't put a description when I published that podcast. Um, so therefore, it didn't actually uh, pull that information. Um, it's showing zero seconds here. That was that warning from that validator because the duration wasn't clear um, when I published it either from my WordPress post, which I can go back and fix that information later. But you see all the information. Okay. Um, once it's validated, all I do is submit this. Um, the submission process will take anywhere from maybe 30 minutes up to three weeks. Um, it depends on the content. It depends on how many podcasts are in the queue for um, the Apple folks to approve. Um, and this is going to vary based upon the different podcasting service you choose to use. Um, but from there, like I said, you're ready to go. And you can begin your podcasting journeys um, very quickly, very easy. You do not need to buy any additional services um, outside of uh, adding on the WordPress plugin um, and using your current hosting provider. As stated, um, recommend you know that you consider using GoDaddy. It works well. It's a great way to get domains up and running and get sites up and running really quickly. By, but by no means, that is not the only one. There's several other hosts out there. Um, if you're interested, if you need more help or assistance, um, go to professorwolf.com, reach out, connect to me. I'm here and available to help anyone who needs it. Have a great day.